some bus drivers emailed us here at Fox 9 saying that's only part of the issue. And they describe a toxic work environment where cost cutting is the standard, even at the expense of safety. Tina Jensen is on your side tonight with the story. The drivers we heard from say that safety and education are at stake. One person wrote saying they're trying to cut corners by imposing unrealistic expectations on drivers to get to their stop times in the shortest time possible and pick up the most students at each stop. All of this is an attempt to save money when in fact it's impacting the education of students and causing anxiety for both students and drivers. Drivers also say they don't have up to date lists of who's supposed to be on their bus. Does that not cause a safety concern in the meantime though that these drivers don't know who is on their bus? Um, no, I don't really think we've had any safety issues at this point. Um, I think it makes the job of managing a bus more difficult for the driver, and I think that's largely what you're hearing, and I don't disagree with that. Another person wrote saying, pickup times need to be managed and pushed up earlier. Many students are arriving at school late and are unable to eat breakfast before school. Is there anything that can be done for these kids in the meantime so that they can get breakfast before they start their school day? I think I'd have to look into that issue. I'm not particularly aware of that. But the district says its problem is a lack of drivers. Their points are fine, but in order to fix the problems that they're concerned about, we have to create new routes, and we can't create new routes without more drivers. Tina Jensen, Fox 9 on your side. The district says it hasn't found enough good candidates for bus driving jobs. But it also says it can take weeks to get the CDL and bus driver certification once they are hired. So.